Twitter. Post on the community tab on the main channel. Post it on the Discord. And we're live. Let's get it, boys. Hey, I'm going to move uh I'm gonna move Abby real quick, y'all. See if she's asleep or what or what not. What up, duh? Let's go, let's go. Alright. Let's get it, let's get it. Let me um We good? We good here. Alright, back. Yo, give me give me like two minutes real quick. Alright, let me just get Abby to her bed. I'm pretty sure she knocked out, man. Bong holy, what's good? Guys, do me a favor, hit the like button on the stream, man. About to turn up for like, I don't know, like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh let's just see what it do. I know I don't match, I got the red shorts on. All right, boys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Abby's still awake. Now she's in the room watching TV. That's crazy. What day were unbanned? Is it either tomorrow or 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 Friday? I don't. I don't know, bro. Um, let's do some some quests here. I'm gonna do this first. I got something new. Talent points available. Big ass castle, man. Good thing Professor Weasley takes the role. And then the werewolves join the goblins. Goblins, in the werewolves. Revelio. This game looks hard? No, not at all, bro. Complicated? Not at all. Professor Weasley? 
Oh, the room will require me. It's on the wall. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> I can't go to sleep, man, but stop typing, please. No more typing. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Let me hit the lights for you too. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to I'm like it, on your own. It's fire. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Is the combat pretty tough? It's pretty simple, but um, there's certain parts in the game where the same spells I use to combat are going to be needed for like solving puzzles and certain things that you need to get done so it's a mixture of like simple combat no chance I'm combos and mess. using using the correct spells for what you need to get this done presents in certain parts. The perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco the vanishing spell you can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects such as these chairs and other things here in the room I suggest you practice the wand movements first then you can clear the chairs away Evanesco Blended. Okay. okay. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, if you will let me. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness! My old school bag! I wondered where that had got to! I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me, can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Oh, well done. Let's get right. That should look fine. Uh. 
Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> I'm about to say not as I do. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Yeah, the fuck it was. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> Repair room. Maybe on the other side? Akio! Let me answer! Self can find us in here. There we go. He's up there. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. 
We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. This is about to change. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Getting two spells off of this quest. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes, they list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay, so, right here. That's an existing existence within the room of requirement.
change the color. What the hell? You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay, so luck. Like, I'm trying to boost the shit real quick. I need these. I need the leaves. Okay, what about this? There you go. And it's, that takes 10 minutes? 10 minutes is crazy. I know there's a, there's a way to fast forward time. Hold on. How was it that you did it? I know there's a way to fast forward this shit. Rebellion. Damn, I forgot. I forgot how to how to. Uh... I did. You forgot how to fast forward time. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. Gather Moonstone. Mm. 
I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. This one's a good spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. It's this one. size of an item. ready for something a little more advanced Which is? you can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture try these new designs on the floor or balcony your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance don't you think Deke would you mind of course professor Weasley Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said Deke. I should ask you about changing the room's Big. ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Sounds perfect.
Damn, that's just hard. I wonder how this is gonna work though for like in game. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change Nine. It These boys hate it. They're all bashing it, shitting on it. Alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Chad, this geek is gonna pipe your whole fucking female side of the family, starting with your fucking girl if you even got one. Give her my cock right after I'm done streaming this shit, pussy. And even she could lick on my wand. Space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space. Put a space spell on that pussy. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. You moron, you bought the game too, you dumb bitch. Thing is that I like what I like, but you, you're an idiot. Play it though. What kind of a moron spends eighty dollars on the game to get early access and then doesn't play it? What an idiot! Moron, stupid, idiotic. I mean, you're the idiot here, watching the stream of it. Been here for the past thirty-two minutes. Like what? This is a stupid snitch.
Over here. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Explore around. Oh, new gloves. What else we got? Revelio. Burgundy Quidditch gloves. Find some shit now. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place loud. is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, Oof. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Here we go. Ringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it? Yeah, of course I'm ready to try it, bro. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. 
have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Oh, okay, so I have to go from further out. Confringo! Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I'm in Gryffindor. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade. Did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's they what are. we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. 
I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Oh, I don't. I already don't like this little asshole. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. I, I'm oh, smacking those smalls off your face. I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Dog. Hold Sebastian up. is going to get an earful of good freedom. All right, burn this little bitch. Incendio. Dog, if I could hurt you, I would. All right. Let's do what we can here to do, because I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Where's uh, the prone? Yo, where was it again? I know I had seen it before. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I should be able to Toast get this now. Yep. Let's go. Let's look. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Yes. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, let's see. What are we looking for today? Hogsmeade, the same place that is at Universal Stu Studios. Looks like the same setup to me. Uh, I think Hogsmeade does have... There's one one of the parks has Hogsmeade, and the other one has, um, like, the bank and um, uh, Diagon Alley. So one has Hogsmeade, and the other one is Diagon Alley. I don't remember which one has which, though. How much do these just go for? Oh, my God. Damn, I did all this for nothing. I can't afford it. Never mind. It's six six hundred. I can sell some stuff though. Oh. I'm gonna sell that. Nice doing business with you. Mm, I'll sell Thanks for stopping by. No, Hope no, to no, see no. you again. We're gonna cop, bro. Chill out. We're gonna buy some shit. 
No, that that item is of the highest quality. Mm. Okay, that one looks dope. That one looks weird. That item is of the highest quality. Damn, that one's like on fire type shit. That item is of the highest quality. That one got the penis uh, front, the penis tip. I don't like that one. This one is kind of cool. It's kind of, it's got a, I like that it has a, a, a lamp in the front hanging. You guys can't see it. That item is of the highest quality. This one is just kind of plain. I think I'm going to go with the one on fire low key. This one looks hard. I'm going with that. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Yeah, you got enhancement. Go on. Enhance. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. They disqualify the qualifiers? Yeah, that's weird. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Hogsmeade, here I come. Here's my thing. How do I summon the damn broom? Revelio. Okay. Mm, let's see it. There you go. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. And that book is going fast as hell. What up, Danny? Hey, you, Gryffindor. 
Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. A little Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Man, what so are you showing for? Up in flying I'm class slithering with bitches, bro. You sound jealous, hell yeah. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? <laughs> yeah. Slytherin Quidditch <laughs> captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. Oh, we're about you're not to get even into Slytherin. It. Could be a useless squib for all I oh, know. Oh, Lord. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. Let's get to I it. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. Mm -hmm. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Mm -hmm. Success. <sighs> ah, you can't miss the rain spot. Why is it not going forward? Yo. Excellent. It's so weird for me because of the whole inverted shit. Like, it's not inverted when you're flying, so this is really hard. Talk to the little bitch. So, so what's uh, that's not you, you must have cheated. Oh, yeah, I cheated, uh, bitch. Flying, sure. Fine. How you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely, my win <laughs> now kill her. <laughs> mm, you're not terrible. I'll try to kill the other dude. You're still going you to have to prove yourself students. if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. Started out shaky for real. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a uh, much Hogwarts Legacy challenge. Loud. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I never thought someone would ever back. I never thought. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. LeBron's legacy.
Oh shit, that's hard. Okay. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Shit so I wanna see what's up with this hat. I know I got the gloves. They're both twenty two offense. So let's see how they look. I'm going with the red. What's up with the hat? <laughs> it's plus eighteen defense though. This one looks hard, though. I'm going to keep it on. Getting your wisdom teeth pulled at 8.30? Bro, have fun with that. Oh, hell no. Room upgrades. You can upgrade your room at spent, which is sporting needs in Hogsmeade. Let's go back in there and see what's good with this dude. You're back yeah, with back, something bro. to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? How come I can't get the room on here? What the hell? Uh. Rebellion. Even 
Just for Dan Octavius Pratt gets hung pride of police and hears me. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then, we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting, to say yes. that. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins, so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. This still gives me weird vibes. I hope I'm wrong though. here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. 
That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Alright, so we got the quest that we gotta get done from this from this dude. Alright y'all, I'm gonna call it a night, man. It's 522 in the morning for me. Huh, what a good night, man. We saw Braun break the record. Streets on 2K. What? Hour 15 minutes over here. Not bad. I had already streamed it today, so I'm really tired. I'm about to get off. Y'all boys have a good night, man. I need to get some rest. <sighs> Deuces, y'all.